Hello. Nice to see you, James. Nice to see you. Well, hello, Benny. Thank you for coming here. So, what did you like about Spider-Man No Way Home? Three. That's a magic number. Yes, Three. It is. It's the magic number. I loved everything it had to do with the film. I could really feel the passion that came from just the, the, the entire experience, really. It was um, the fan-made film for the fans. You know, it was, it was such an experience to have. Yeah. Did you notice anything in the film that made you say, wow, just wow? I think we, we all know what made me kind of go wow, it was seeing those, those three lads back in their iconic costumes. You know, I have so much love for Andrew and he, you know, he got to play the role again and show that he really was Spider-Man after all. And, I can't believe I'm saying this, but anything you disliked about the movie? It's difficult, but I did, I did see some bad CGI. I do not like the Iron mm. Spider suit, it is terrible. And what do you think of Spider-Man as a character? Would you ever want to be like him? Well, I, th I named one child that didn't want to be Spider-Man. You know, as soon as that mask came on, it didn't matter who you were or what your problems were. You could imagine yourself swinging from, you know, the, the New York skyscrapers and, you know, being Spider-Man. And who is your favourite villain in the movie and, and why? Doc Ock or Green Goblin? I'd probably go Green Goblin. Willem Dafoe absolutely brought his A-game to this. He's quite scary, I thought. He was Really, really good. Well, I disagree with that. I think it's Doc Ock. But anyway, yeah. Well, thank you. And uh, thank you. Listeners, listen to this year's wisdom. Wisdom of a speaker, a dumb and a plug. Set aside a legal substance to feed them for now. Get them high off this dialect. Time is a fact.